Street Fighter 6 is awesome. Where do I begin with the praises for this masterpiece? The gameplay. Dude, we, we, we shared one brain cell just then. Top tier. The visual design, fantastic. The music, absolute bangers. The character designs, gorgeous. But there has been a little bit of a controversy with that last one. Capcom announced that everyone would have their classic costumes return and the quote unquote problem is with Cammy. You see, this article has an issue with Cammy's classic costume returning. Now, is this article only five paragraphs long? Yes! Am I going to milk it for all that I can? Yes! Street Fighter fans are being totally normal about Cammy's classic outfit. The Street Fighter Reddit has probably never seen so many NSFW posts in one day. This was posted by George Foster. So thank you, George, for this absolute banger. If I remember correctly on Twitter, when he posted this, it had zero likes, t like five quote retweets, and a dozen comments. Like, it was ratioed. Street Fighter fans are being totally normal about the inclusion of Cammy's revealing classic costume in Street Fighter 6, and definitely aren't flooding the game subreddit with NSFW posts. Oh no! Guys find an attractive woman hot! Yesterday, Capcom rolled the curtain back on the inclusion of classic and alternate costumes for all the characters in Street Fighter VI. We already knew that Ryu and Ken were getting costumes that showed off their original looks, but it turns out that every veteran on the roster is participating in Throwback Thursday, including Cammy's infamously revealing leotard. Ooh, slipping up. I, got, I gotta learn how to read, Max. You hire mammal. Hmm? Can you read? No. For those who don't know, Cammy debuted in Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers with an outfit that consisted of a red beret and gloves, black boots, and a green thong leotard thing, and not much else. This costume formed the basis for Cammy's Street Fighter design across the rest of the series, up until Street Fighter 6 where it changed to an outfit where she's a lot more covered up. But even though she's covered up, she's still, she's still a baddie, I'd hit it. Well, if Capcom choosing to evolve this character design and not sexualize one of its characters bothered you, then worry no more, as her alternative design brings back the classic costume. Oh no! A, an attractive woman with a nice pair of tits and a nice juicy set of cheeks. God forbid that while I'm getting my cheeks clapped by every single cameo I've come across, that I can at least look at a nice pair of cheeks. God forbid. What's so wrong about that? I guess modern game design, at least here in America, we have a problem with making the female leads attractive. I personally never expected to be hit with so many NSFW tags when checking out the Street Fighter subreddit today, but that's exactly what's happened in the aftermath of Capcom sharing the trailer for the roster's alternate outfits. Some of the top posts in the community right now are all gawking at Cammy's design in various different positions. In fact, one of the most popular posts on the subreddit right now is one from Redditor McCrookedy. It's pronounced McRookedy, you autistic retard. That shows off Cammy stretching while wearing her original design with the caption, Cammy is doing her stretches in her uniform, smiley face. I'll leave it up to you to figure out why that's being highlighted, but the NSFW tag at the top of the page should do most of the heavy lifting for you. Yo, God forbid every single character in this game looks like Rufus from Street Fighter 4. The comments underneath the post show how thirsty Street Fighter fans are for Cammy's new design. I've never wanted to be a horse so badly in my life, in reference to the horses behind Cammy that are apparently getting a good look in. By far the best comments comes from a Dead or Alive fan who calls out the Street Fighter community. Honestly, I feel like the FGC owes Dead or Alive an apology because y'all made fun of us for calling out for fan service, but you're all secretly down bad as all hell. Yeah, we're gamers, we're down bad. But, you know, we, we pick on each other a little bit, right? That's just one comment thread on one of several posts highlighting Cammy's outfit. Believe me, there are a lot of them. But if you're down bad too, or simply want to watch the world burn, you can probably just search Cammy on any kind of social media platform, get a whole, uh, whole bunch of results. Totally normal behavior. Yeah, it is normal for men to find attractive women sexy. That has been a thing since the dawn of time. Since even the original Street Fighter 2, people have been talking about chit like Cammy and Chun-Li. Only now I guess it's a bad thing. Remember guys, if you find these characters sexually appealing, you're the problem. At the very least, according to George Foster. So thank you George for allowing me to milk this for all that I can. 
Now, if you excuse me, I have to get back to labbing some kin combos and getting my ass beat by every single cami that I come across because I can't focus with those dummy thick cheeks right in front of my face.